Hello and welcome to the inaugural video for Kickstart, a series developed by Microfilm that helps you develop the skills necessary to streamline your business through the flagship application, Microfilm Toolbox. I'm Ludwig from Microfilm and I will be your host, guide, and best friend as we tackle the fundamentals of this application. So sit back, relax, let's kickstart this series. So by now you would have double clicked on your Toolbox application ready and raring to go. The first thing you would have noticed is this guy right over here. And this guy is what we call our login screen. And before we go too much further, I'm just gonna do a little bit of housekeeping with you guys. Now, if you are following along with your version of Toolbox, you may notice a few differences between your version you're using and the version that I'm using. And this is because we may be using two very different versions. If you have a look at my login screen right over here, you can see that I'm using Toolbox 2021 and I'm also using the build 21.1.816 just in case you were following through. Now, below that, we can see what configuration I'm using. Now, configuration is where generally your library is saved. Generally, if you have only one library, you have one configuration. If you have multiple libraries, such as a staircase library, a tall partition library, for example, as well as a frameless candle tree library, you could be running multiple configurations. This one I can see on my screen is called the Markovellum Foundation Library 21.0723 metric with the office furniture library attached to it. Now I've named it this so I know it's easy for me to know what it is. And for the duration of this video and the series, I will be using this library here. Now further below that is a username and a password. And no, you don't need to put in a username and a password if you're running this for the first time. What these two refer to is username and passwords that you can set up for other users of the software. If you'd like to set up permissions such as allowing a user to uh, adjust a tool file or save something back to the library or allowing them to not do those things, you can set up permissions within the software that allows you to do just that. For now, since we haven't set those up, we can leave them as blank. Further below that is a link to our Microvellum Knowledge Network. This will take you straight to the website that has our knowledge base, our community forums, as well as access to submitting tickets to our help center in case you are in need of our support. And then further below that is a nice, handsome looking continue button, which we're gonna smack straight ahead to continue through our video. And with that out of the way, we can now see our toolbox application in all its glory. And with that being said, that will be the end of this video. And I would just like to say, thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned for more videos in the series. Until next time, I'm Luke from Markvelm, and I don't really have a good outro, so I'll just stick with I'll see you later.